So let me just say that while I appreciate his presence here, because in effect, we are offering him a chance to clear his name, his answers were at best fudged. Senator Miriam Santiago reaches this conclusion after the Senate hearing to investigate resigned interior and local government undersecretary Rico Puno. The Santiago-led committee calls for a hearing to probe whether the DILG needs a change in structure and to see if Puno is guilty of allegations regarding wetting and anomalous arms procurements for the Philippine National Police. Puno denies receiving any money from the notorious illegal gambling game but admits that as an observer, he called a meeting with gun suppliers bidding for the PNP arms procurements. The best, uh, ano pakialam mo doon sa bidding process? Na yun, di ka man what? member ng BAC. Observer ka lang eh. Opo, observer lang po ako. O, anong basis, legal basis mong nakikialam ka? Well lang po, as undersecretary at saka yung special functions namin at uh, para yun, inri-report namin kay secretary. He admits being in Israel on May 10, the same day of the second pre-conference for the procurement of 1,500 assault rifles for the police. Documents show PNP Special Action Force Leucadio Santiago and gun supplier Reynaldo Espinelli were on the same trip, as well as Puno and his consultant Ramiro Lopez III. Puno denies going with Santiago to an ocular of the Israel Military Industries, a partner of Espinelli. He says he and Lopez only saw Santiago at the firing range while in Israel to go shooting. Then why did you go there? I was there on vacation to, uh, to, the, to Jerusalem. In June, after the trip, Espinelli won the procurement bid on the pistols. Bidding for the rifles was stopped by the late Secretary Jesse Robredo, citing Puno's role and conflict of interest in the bidding as one of the reasons. Puno also admits Lopez joined meetings of the PNP Bidding and Awards Committee. Santiago slams both for their active involvement in the bidding process since neither are members of the PNP BAC. Sarmiento says they let Lopez attend meetings but did not let him or Puno influence BAC's final decisions. Ako, pero medyo mabait po kami ron kasi ang amin pong idea is baka meron po si... What you call mabait, I call irregular. Uh, as Undersecretary, Puno was in charge of the police and the Bureau of Fire Protection, a first. Traditionally, the DILG secretary heads all sectors under the department. Santiago says she does not plan to hold another hearing and will study what changes to the structure of the DILG she will recommend.